And in 2007, Craig Lowndes and Jamie Wincup, they have done the double. Do you remember? I certainly do. And that last lap, which is what we're going to be facing this episode of Experts at Speed, powered by Coates. <laughs> Welcome to the next episode of Experts at Speed and today we've got Tim Watsford from Supercars and we're going to be talking all about supercars sustainability and the future of where it looks in the next five years. Tim, welcome. Go Lindsay, how are you? Good. Now, today we're talking about sustainability with the sport and it's going to be on the back of the time frame of my 07 Bathurst winning final lap. So, you ready to go? Rock and roll, let's go. All right. What are supercars doing on and off the track? Yeah, some great advancements in 23. Uh, tyre recycling, the introduction of the E75 fuel blend and the electric safety car. And a really great step off track is the introduction of the hydrogen powered generator that we did in uh, New Zealand recently. The safety car is fully electric. What drove this change? Big thanks to BP uh, coming on board and, and with the Porsche Taycan. Um, what better way to try and take the next step in addressing our on-track emissions um, and utilising a fully electric safety car uh, is, a, is a great way to push forward. How many emissions are being saved with using the safety car program? Every race is different, but roughly we're saving a third of the emissions than a combustion petrol engine. What is the biggest advancement with the BP E75 fuel blend? Effectively, the biggest advancement is a 10% uh, bio piece that's gone into the fuel, effectively making that the cleanest racing fuel in the country. Where do you see supercars five years from now? Biggest sport behind the football codes in Australia and the world's best touring car category. <laughs> Good question, good answer. Uh, what's the most exciting piece of innovation you've seen in the sport? Oh mate, it has to be the introduction of Gen 3. I think leveling the playing field, anyone can win. Best set for the future. Who do you look up to when it comes to leading sustainability change? It's a race to the, uh, it's a race to the top at the moment, but um, all honesty, Sail GP, some of the initiatives that they're doing out of the water, let's say, um, is really leading industry. What drives you to do what you do? The fans, mate, it's all about the fans. Good, good answer, same. Uh, what is the next step for supercars in sustainability? Assessing all our off-track, um, I guess, emissions, freight, transport, logistics, big task ahead of us. Uh, what is your biggest highlight since joining supercars? Uh, has to be the return to New Zealand. Amazing, Topor turned it on. Yep. Uh, what did you want to do growing up? Own a fish and chip shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting close now. <laughs> Uh, what did you want to achieve in supercars? Yeah, I think we want to. I think we want to really put a product that um, that we're proud of and have success. We really want to drive this thing forward. Oh, good. All right, Tim. We're rounding the last corner. So, who is Tim away from the track? Proud dad, husband, and massive ocean lover. Well, thank you for being part of Experts at Speed, powered by Coats. Thanks, Lousy. Bathurst 1000 champions, 2007.